You know, to follow up on my earlier uh, video that I did talking about the World Heavyweight Championship that Triple H revealed, or unveiled, I should say, last night on Raw. You know, even though a lot of people do like the design and, and, and everything, and pretty much have figured out who should be the first one uh, to hold it, the one uh, argument I guess you could say people have and disagreement about, you know, this uh, championship being uh, introduced or reintroduced for a new generation is there wasn't any need for it. And that WWE had the opportunity in front of them at WrestleMania by having Cody beat Roman. And I'm not disagreeing with that. You know, they did have the opportunity in front of them to crown a new champion and then possibly separate the championship via the draft or at least have Cody be the kind of guy that's like, look, all I cared about was getting this. SmackDown can have back the Universal title and crown the new champion uh, whenever they see, see fit or whatever. And that would have made more sense. I'm not disagreeing with it. But as I've said before, and others have touched upon this, even before WrestleMania happened, you know, we were doing our predictions. We were all talking about the fact when it came to this matchup at WrestleMania that, you know, Cody was the obvious choice to go with, but that temptation to get Roman to a thousand days might be too much. And unfortunately, that temptation, you know, won out. And some people can blame Vince McMahon for being the one to book it that way. Some could blame Triple H. Some could even blame Cody for agreeing to it and saying, hey, let's go this. And even suggesting it himself to say, hey, let's go this way. You know, uh, you know, and, and so on. But whatever your feelings are, you know, we are now here. You know, we are now here at this junction that at Night of Champions, a new World Heavyweight Champion will be crowned. But it's like I said, or at least tried to say earlier today in my initial video, we have to realize that WWE will not. And again, like I said in the description, I'm going to say it here. Uh, I'm going to, because I want to squash this right now. WWE is not going to have two, three world championships. Let's get that straight, okay? Let's get that straight. If there's anything we can agree upon is that WWE will try, and I mentioned it in the initial video, will try to get Roman to a thousand days as universal champion and then maybe, you know, either have Roman retire that championship himself because nobody can beat him for it or hold off till SummerSlam, have Cody beat him and then Cody retires it because all he wants is the WWE title that the one his father never won or from a storyline perspective and legitimate perspective, you could have Triple H come in, have Roman forfeit over the Universal Championship since no one's been able to beat him for that title for over a thousand days and then challenge him to see if he can repeat the same progress, you know, and, and success with the WWE title. You know, they could do that and it would make sense. Thus, it would nullify this notion of having three world championships, which we won't. We only have two. And it's like I said in the initial video, the only reason from a visual standpoint that Roman is going to hold both those championships right now is to visualize the fact that he is the one. He is the only one to unify those two titles into one. He is the only one to be, a, to be such a dominant champion, an unbeatable champion for so long that he, that basically by having this visual proof to over his shoulders and around his waist is going to have people acknowledge that. It's going to have the fan base acknowledge the fact that no one's going to be able to beat him for that top, for that top, for those titles. Oh, nobody has come close to beating him. But this notion that we're going to have two championships, or three championships, I should say, this notion we're going to have three, we need to squash that right now, because that ain't happening. That ain't happening, guaranteed. You know, the only reason people are going to believe that is because Roman's going to have those two other titles, but over time, just like back in 2022, when Brock Lesnar, as I mentioned in the previous video, went to SmackDown, they dropped the undisputed, you know, name or the undisputed word from the name. So it just ended up being WWE Championship again, just like they're going to probably do here. They're going to drop the undisputedness from, you know, the you know, from the from the title itself, and it's just going to be Universal Champion or and eventually WWE Champion. And that's it. 
That's what they're going to do. They are eventually going to drop that. Period. You know, period. Now, as far as the other notion that this is a constellation prize, look, you can have your opinions on that all you want. Yes. Does it feel like WWE, you know, put themselves into a situation where they had to do this? Yes. You know, it does seem like that. Because, as I mentioned, and all everybody else has mentioned, they had the opportunity at WrestleMania to prevent this, but they didn't. So now they're in a situation where they had no choice but to go this route. So, so yes, I agree that they put themselves in this predicament, but I do not see this as a Constellation Prize. You know why? You know why I don't see it like that? I'll tell you why. I tell you why, because whoever wins that championship, it, they, through the fans' eyes, through the wrestling fans' eyes, the casual fans' eyes, the hardcore fans' eyes, they are going to have more value as a champion, a world champion, the champion than Roman Reigns. That's what's going to happen. Yes, they will acknowledge Roman as being one of the more dominant champions in the history. History of the modern era of wrestling, period. No doubt about it. But, but, because he's not always here when he should be, they're going to look at the champion that gets crowned, crowned as the world heavyweight champion, either for Raw or SmackDown, as the guy. Whether it's Seth Rollins, whether it's Cody Rhodes, you know, whether it's, I don't know, uh, Austin Theory, whether it's Bobby Lashley, whether it's Bronson Reed, heck, whether it's not Chad Gable or freaking Omos if they want to do that, and I sure, I'm sure people don't want that, but whoever it is, you know, people are going to view that individual as the champion, as someone better than Roman because Roman does not want to be around as much. Roman doesn't want to constantly defend his title when he should. So, by default, it's going to take time, but I guarantee you before this year is out, heck, even before freaking SummerSlam, they are going to value whoever the World Heavyweight Champion is and that World Heavyweight Championship more so than Roman Reigns and his title reign because he does not want to be around as much. Now, you might say I'm speaking nonsense and lunacy, but it's a fact. It is a fact. I mean, when I go back historically and I look at, you know, what Monday Night Raw did when they gave Triple H the World Heavyweight title back then, even though Brock, the likes of Brock Lesnar and John Cena and, you know, Kurt Angle and all of them were holding, you know, you know, the WWE Championship on SmackDown, guess what? That World Heavyweight Championship was sought after the most. People valued that World Heavyweight Championship the most. Fans considered that championship more important and more significant than the WWE title itself. Despite the fact that the WWE championship, you know, is the be-all, end-all as far as the company goes with its 50-plus years of lineage. People still, people didn't look at that championship, you know, with, the, with, a, with as great value as they looked at the World Heavyweight title. And guess what? History is going to repeat itself. History, while well, Roman is still the undisputed champion, universal champion, WWE champion, whatever he's going to be by the time we get to SummerSlam, history is going to repeat itself. It is. And guess what's going to happen? Cody Rhodes, if he goes to SmackDown, he gets drafted to SmackDown this Friday, Cody Rhodes is going to be the one that, yes, will beat Roman Reigns. That seems to be the direction they're going in. He's going to be the one to beat Roman Reigns for, those, for that championship. He might retire the Universal title in favor of the WWE title. And then guess what happens? That WWE title, because it's now in Cody's hands, it's in Cody's hands, you know, and he's going to be here more often than Roman, it's going to have more value than the world title. It'll be just like when John Cena got drafted over to Monday Night Raw, took the WWE title with him, and Batista went over to SmackDown. Guess what? People valued the WWE Championship more so because it was off of Triple H finally. 
Someone finally got, well, it was off JBL finally. Someone was able to end his reign of terror over on SmackDown. And now it was the start of a brand new era. In other words, what I'm trying to say here is this is basically 2002 to, this is basically 2002 to 2005 all over again. This is the first three years of the ruthless aggression era all over again for a new generation. That's what this is. That's what this is, and that is why, ladies and gentlemen, that is why, you know, we should not be hesitant to downplay this World Heavyweight Championship. Because sooner or because over time, it is going to be looked at as more important than what Roman has right now, because Roman doesn't want to be here. And because he doesn't want to be here, it's going to be valued more. I mean, heck, why do you think when Brock Lesnar was the WWE champion or the Universal champion and somebody else had one of the other titles, that title was valued more than what Brock had. Because Brock wasn't here all the time. Don't you get it? Triple H knows what he's doing. He realizes that this is going to get more value. This is going to be seen as more as the most important championship in all of WWE, you know, basically, that it's going to overshadow Roman Reigns' reign. And that maybe legitimately and storyline-wise, it's going to get Roman Reigns to reconsider, okay, maybe I should be here more often. That's the plan. That's the plan. Everybody says, let's, everybody always says, let's see what happens, right? Let's see what happens. Let's play, let, let it play out. Let's follow the plan. Let's see the plan play out. Well, guess what? This is a plan that Triple H has in the works. He knows what he's doing. He's been there himself on numerous occasions. He's been there himself on numerous occasions. He knows what's going to happen. He sees it already. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I don't consider this a Constellation Prize. I consider this part of a bigger plan that's going to wake up Roman Reigns and make him realize that if he doesn't want to be looked at as the lesser champion, despite having the Universal Championship, initially the Universal Championship for over a thousand days, and you know the WWE Championship for half of that, if he doesn't want to be overshadowed by the new champion that's going to have this title, that he's going to have to show up every week from here on in and defend that title on whatever brand he's on, or at least compete on whatever brand he's on. That's what's going to happen. That seems to be the initial plan, in my opinion. And that's what's going to happen legitimately. This title, this World Heavyweight title is going to be having more value than that one. Because the champion's always going to be here when Roman is not. But that's all I really wanted to say. I don't see it as a Constellation Prize. I see it as, as, something, as part of something big and something that seems very familiar and identical to what was going on between 2002 and 2005, the first three years of the Russo's Aggression Era. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Comment down below, and I'll talk to you all later.